Today we're checking out this beautiful looking guitar from Ibanez. This is the AZ or AZ2402 Prestige, made in Japan. It looks absolutely beautiful and this is by far one of the most dynamic and versatile guitars I've ever played. No kidding. Let's see how it sounds. Welcome back guys, this is Shane. You were listening to one of the most versatile guitars I've had a chance to play. Let's take a look up close. Here's the guitar up close. Now, one of the first things I liked about this was not only just how it looked visually, but how simple the guitar was. In terms of the body, we get an older body and that's what it looks like on the back as well. This matte finish looks really killer in my opinion. Let me know what you think of that in the comments below. Now, in terms of the neck, it's a maple neck with stainless steel frets and it's roasted as well. Take a look at that. I think that looks pretty cool. On the fretboard, we get the black dot inlays in amongst the jumbo stainless steel frets. In terms of the fretboard, it's a 25.5 inch radius design. We also get 24 frets. You can see you can go all the way up to here. It's pretty cool and you can get fair up fairly easily. Not as easy as some guitars, but depending on how you play, some people will have no issues getting up there. The way I play, I kind of feel like the maximum somewhere around here, but even so, that's pretty cool. Here's the headstock up close. We get a bone nut and chrome hardware. These tuners are super reliable. I've had no issues with them at all. As you can see on the back of the headstock, they're Goto tuners, and this is made in Japan. You can see that over here. What a really cool instrument. In terms of weight, this comes in at around the same weight as a player series Stratocaster, for example. It's maybe slightly lighter, but somewhere around there. And one of the interesting things about the design of this is the jack. It comes up and in, much like my Ibanez bass guitar sort of comes in up on an angle. It's gonna look a bit weird while I'm sitting down on the chair with a cable coming out like this, but when you've actually got 
it, you know, you're standing up, you've got your guitar strap on, you can feed it through the strap. It's actually a pretty cool design. Now in terms of the pickups, we get two Seymour Duncan Hyperon pickups. These are passive Alnico pickups, so they're not active or anything like that. We also get a treble bleed circuit in the volume control. So you can turn this guitar as far down as you want and you're still gonna have plenty of top end there. I love that, I think it sounds great. Now, in terms of the toggle switch, you can run the guitar and the pickups either in split coil mode in some positions or humbucker mode in some positions, and they'll use various combinations of the actual coils to get those tones. I'll leave some information on screen throughout the video so you can find out a little bit more about that. It'll make more sense throughout the video. Firstly, a massive thanks to Sky Music for allowing me to borrow this for the review. I saw this on the wall at the shop and I thought, man, this actually caught my eye. Oh, it's an Ibanez. Like I don't often see Ibanez guitars that I personally like that much other than some of their arch tops. And I saw this, I was like, man, I wanna try this out. This really looks cool. Not only does it look cool, this is by far one of the most dynamic guitars I've ever played. It does cleans beautifully. It does just high gain overdrive, no problems there at all. If you play something heavier than I do, it will probably do that fine as well. But just in terms of tonal flexibility, and just being able to turn the volume control down, it will just clean up beautifully, and I'll show you that in this video. If you wanna find out more about this, links will be in the description below through to Sky Music here in Australia. If you live overseas, I'll leave some Toman or Sweetwater links down there as well. But let's get into it. All right, let's kick it off today. I'm plugged into my Kemper Profiling amp using a profile I made in my Fender Blues Deluxe Reissue amplifier back here, and it's loaded with an eminent Swamp Thing speaker, and this particular profile also profiled my VS Audio Royal Flush Dual Overdrive pedal. So this is a pretty dirty patch, but we're gonna start with the volume control on the guitar down, and I'm gonna show you just how dynamic this is. We've also got the switch, so I'm in the single coil mode as well on bridge pickup. So let's take a listen, and I'll start with the volume control down, and it will sound almost clean. Have a listen to this. Now if I go to neck pickup in split mode, same type of thing, it's much cleaner than you'll hear it in just a moment. It's a really usable sound. Super funky, that's why I did that funk track at the start of this particular video because it just suited that sound. Now, take a listen to this bridge pick up with the volume up. So this is no tricks. Whoo! Over the neck. So as you can hear, even with a lot of drive, there's still clarity on the top end, which a lot of guitars don't have. Let's take another listen. This is neck pickup in humbucker mode. Over to both pickups, here we go. Whew, all right. Let's try it now with the toggle switch in the down position and this will give you humbucker tones in every position. Let's take a listen. I'll leave a little diagram on screen so I can make some sense. Starting with the neck pickup, here we go.
it's got so much attitude and just great sound. I really like it. It's got this sort of mid sort of honky thing going on, but in the mix, that's a killer sound to have. So the cool thing about this guitar, in any of these positions, I'll just pick neck and middle position. If you turn down, it cleans up beautifully. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys, my name's Shane. If you have any comments or questions, please let me know. Firstly, let me know what you think of the tones of this in the comments as well. I think this thing sounds unreal. It's by far one of the most dynamic guitars I've ever played from any brand, ever. Hands down, I've never felt that way about many guitars where you can just either have it in split coil mode with the guitar down and it will sound dead clean but still have body to the sound. That's one of the things that a lot of these split coil things don't seem to get right. They always sound anemic. This is by far one of the best. And for those of you who know, I purchased the PRS SE and I never use that on my electric guitar because I always find it just too anemic. This sounds great. I much prefer the tone of the split coil sound on this, but the humbuckers are where it's at. And just turning down again, you'll get it to sound clean. Turning it back up just gives you as much gain as you like. Now I'm not a high gain player, obviously in the blues channel, but uh, yeah, I really thought I'd show you how it can well, just how dynamic it is. So even if you play with a lot more gain, you can still just get it to sound clean by using the volume control. Awesome. A massive thanks to Sky Music here in Melbourne, Australia for letting me borrow this. I really appreciate it. If you live in Australia, don't forget to check out the links down to Sky Music in the description below or I'll leave them on screen. If you live overseas, I'll also leave some links to Sweetwater and Toman down there as well. It helps support the channel at no extra cost to you. So overall, this is one of the nicest Japanese guitars I've actually played. My only very slight criticism of it is the fret edges along the bottom feel a little sharp, whereas the ones along the top feel fine. So I don't know what the deal is with that. They're not sharp as in like they're going to cut you, but they're fairly prominent because I think these stainless steel frets, which is another huge bonus as well, just stand up a little taller than I'm used to. They're like a really big jumbo style fret. But overall, man, I can't really complain. When you're playing it, you don't notice it. But if you were to run your fingers across the bottom, you do feel them a little bit, but it's nothing too bad. In terms of weight, it feels good. The only other small thing I'm not used to is having the, the jack come up on this angle here. The, obviously with the strap, it would make more sense, but just sitting down, it looks a little bit awkward. But yeah, beautiful matte finish as well. Stunning, I love this roasted uh, neck as well. I think it looks really, really cool. So overall, this is one of the most surprising guitars I've ever picked up. I had no expectations when I saw this and I saw it and I went, man, that looks good. That was the first thing that I thought. And then I went, oh, it's an Ibanez. Like, I just don't get a chance to play Ibanez guitars very often, but this is by far one of the best guitars I've played in recent times. It is really, really cool. I just like the headstock too. It's good for a, a guy like me who's not into the pointy guitars. It's not too pointy or anything like that, but yeah, what an absolutely beautiful instrument. Let me know what you think of the tones of this. Thanks again for watching. Catch you soon. See ya.